Next thing which I've done off camera is change this orange gasket which goes from the silencer to the compressor body. The old one was, let me call it this way, uh, a bit worn, so it needed changing. You can lose boost, so it's bad for the for the vehicle, for the way the engine runs under wide open throttle. Okay, so after cleaning the timing uh, chain cover very well, I mean the ceiling surfaces need to be cleaned. Also this top one and the bottom one as well. Uh, you definitely need to take a clean rag and also uh, generic brake parts cleaner, brake and parts cleaner. Yeah. So you clean the, the surface very well and after that you apply gasket maker. It says over here to uh, clean the surface very well and then apply the, the sealant. The manual for Mercedes says that the sealant must be applied in a Two millimeter plus or minus 0.5 millimeters tolerance uh, in diameter or thickness whatever you want to call it so this is the graph showing how much time it takes to harden well not necessarily harden in a specific manner of speaking but just to make a crust uh, film on on the coating so I'll also have to install new gaskets o-rings over here over here what I'll be doing is also apply gasket maker here and here okay so I have applied the gasket maker uh, the bead is not the best bead but it's really hard to put it out of the tube anyways I put it bead over here, a bead over there, something like that, and on the, this side. So this is the end cap. I made sure to cut it at the smallest dimension possible to be able to still flow some gasket maker through there. I'm gonna let it sit for, I don't know, uh, one or two minutes. And then I'm gonna attempt to, to install it. Also I have installed new o-rings and everything should be quite okay. I also have the rubber mallet in case uh, it needs a bit of persuasion because it goes into one over here and one over here uh, holes for uh, some pins which help center the timing cover. Okay so it's party time now. I've got the magnet hooked onto this screw to pull it up anyways you can put the slider in uh, later and do not insert the screw but I chose to do it this way because in my opinion it will help stabilize the uh, slider the fixed slider and uh, what I've done uh, is also add some engine assembly grease well, let me show you I've used this type of engine assembly grease, montage paste, to relieve the tension, relieve the mechanical stress on the sliders and on the, on the chain as well, once you start everything. So let's get started, fingers crossed, I don't butch this up, because if I butch it up then it's time for clean up again we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven eleven screws that hold the timing case together. This over here 
and this one over here are the longest. Apart from that, all of them are equal in, in the length. But diameter wise, they are the same. So my next step would be to torque them down. Uh, I'll check for the specification because I haven't got it yet. That's somewhere in WIS. Anyways, um, I'll uh, put the pump, co uh, the water pump, and also the the seal, the main seal on the crankshaft. So we've got the new water pump. I'm going to grease this channel so that the new seal will uh, stick perfectly to it and won't won't fall off during installation. This should be more than enough. So. We're gonna put uh, the gasket in. So that's that's how it should be done. Just bring it close and then you will have to put the screws in a crisscross motion starting from this one, this one, then uh, this one, going back to this one, this one and this one. And then final torque is applied. Putting in the last screw. Set it in by hand as much as possible. Don't forget to add thread locker to all the bolts. Okay, so we're gonna mount right now the crankshaft seal. I'm gonna use this to ease the way in. I'm gonna do it like this. the rag move it side to side and wipe the excess off put this face facing us there is only one thing worth mentioning the arrow which says that the engine should spin this way and it does so I'm gonna have to use something which is the same circumference to tap it in properly. Uh, we can give it a try with this the face of the camshaft adjuster. So it's in the proper position, as flush as it can be. Don't want to push it anymore because I don't want to damage it. So this is how you put the main seal on the crankshaft without tools or without the tool specified by Mercedes. You can use these rings or you can build your own from plastic tubing which will be basically in the specified dimension. Okay so we're gonna put the camshaft adjusters. This one E is for intake. Uh, I don't know, German engineering, weird letters, for me it doesn't matter, as long as in the book says it's E for intake and A for exhaust, I would say that A is for auspuff, which is uh, German for exhaust. You have to align this uh, tab into this hole. Okay, so uh, everything is finished. 
the intake camshaft adjuster again it's marked with an E I don't know it's German for something but this one for exhaust is marked with an A from Auspuff which means exhaust system in, in German so after this I'll have to put a socket a deep socket and uh, torque it to 90 Newton meters the camshafts are blocked with the tool and this is the proper way on how to put the camshaft adjusters okay so we've got a deep socket 27 millimeter deep socket it's a three quarters uh, the, the square is three quarters and I've got an adapter from female half an inch female to three quarters male so uh, <coughs> torque wrench is set at 84 plus 6 newtons that's 90 newton meters and job, job done that's proper torquing the camshaft adjusters to 90 newton meters Thank <laughs> you.